What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of RX Bar, Quest Nutrition, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25 creates 100% outsourced VIP special events for software companies or conference organizers. Uh, We have actually helped companies, and what it does is really help get more referrals, increase retention with their highest level customers, and get more engaged new customers. Uh, We do them all over the country. We just did one a few days ago in Chicago. We've done them this past year. I know Dan's a big fan of high-level masterminds too. We did them in Austin, Chicago, Santa Barbara, San Diego, New York, Sonoma, Vegas. You know, so um, if you're interested in bringing your highest value, you're bringing your highest level customers together to connect and collaborate, uh, then go to Rise25. You can email us and see if your community qualifies. So Dan, I'm really excited. Today we have Dan Metters, co-founder of Wholesale Formula with Eric Lambert. They began selling on Amazon as a hobby with an original investment of only $600. They worked nights. Let's not, that's not a push button uh, you know, push button solution, right? You in the beginning have to actually put in some work. So let's not pretend that's not there, right? Work nights and weekends buying products on clearance at local retail stores, selling them on Amazon for a profit. It only took a few months for them to see the potential and they turned the hobby into a business and both left their full time jobs to sell on Amazon full time. Since then, they've been able to generate over $20 million in sales on Amazon and they've developed. You know, so that actually they don't have to work all the nights and weekends anymore, right? You develop your own unique system to take advantage of wholesale opportunities called the wholesale formula. And the wholesale formula is the blueprint they use to build their multi million dollar Amazon business. And he hails from Kentucky. Dan, thanks for joining me. Absolutely, Jeremy. I'm I'm, I'm pleased to be on here with you, man. Um, I've heard the term branded wholesale. How does that differ from regular wholesale? Well, I mean, with branded wholesale is you know that's that's more of what we do is we. Uh, you know, we don't deal with uh, unbranded products or more generic style products. Okay. I, uh, I guess I was easy. thinking like customization, like you were adding customization to the already branded wholesale, but that's not correct. Um, well, the, typically, I mean, in it, you know, I think I think a lot of these definitions are, are more superfluous, but yeah. Uh, and what that means to me is more of like your generic products that are being purchased from like an Alibaba or something like that. Mm, and again, it's it. just. Whenever you're doing that, you're not building real relationships, and that's why we tend to steer clear of it. Totally. So process for launching, man. So you talk a little about the research, the criteria. What's your process for, okay, you got it. Well, I mean, that's the beautiful part, right? Like that's that's what makes this work is once they say yes, my process for going live and starting to make money is immediate. Like I don't have to do anything to get this product off the ground. It's product. The product's already selling incredibly well. So whenever I send in that first order, I'm already realizing sales. As long as I'm competitive, you know, sales are happening. And a lot of the companies we work with have map pricing and, and things like that. And mm-hmm. what map pricing is is it's you know minimum advertised price. The retailers that they work with, they want them to sell that to sell it at this price or higher. So you don't tend to see a lot of those races to the bottom. And you know, a lot of the companies we work with don't want to work with a ton of sellers because. Uh, you know, we're we're able to help them meet those needs. Favorite, so, favorite story from someone going through the wholesale formula? Oh, there's so many, man. Like it, it's honestly, we have we have we've had we've been fortunate. We've had uh, a lot of success stories within our community. Um, what surprised and, you from someone who got something different out of your formula from maybe what it was intended? Any well, I mean, use, use cases that you know they're you know sometimes the students teach you something of what you didn't realize from going through your own materials. Is there one of those where you learned from feedback you were getting from a student going through it, and they kind of uh, added some a layer on? For sure, uh, for what it's worth, like that's uh, that's the most valuable part of the wholesale formula for us is that we've added you know we've added over twenty five hundred really really smart people to that community that have went through our course and 
been, been successful. And it's when you add that many smart people into the mix and they start to talk about, you know, how what's working for them. Like our core, like if you looked at our course from day one for and, you know, it was a direct representation of our model then. And you looked at it now, it is literally not even I don't even know if there's a video. I don't even know if there's one video that's the same. And it's our, our model has continued to evolve with our community and then with their help. You know, like you'd asked about a success story, and, and one of the mo- a couple of the really impressive ones that just come to mind are, uh, you know, we have one of our really good friends, Emmerich Manello. Uh, he moved to the United States, uh, I think, in, in about 2011, and he, he was he's a French guy, and uh, he didn't speak any English, so it was like really really difficult for him to get started. And whenever he lived in France, he was a web developer, mm-hmm. but whenever he moved to the United States, he moved to Las Vegas because he was playing poker. And, it, you know, that was uh, – he didn't have to talk, and it was just something he could do. And that's how he learned to speak English was at the poker table. And then, uh, you know, he took our course in uh, January of 2015. And, you know, he had a really, really small Amazon business at the time. Like he had been doing retail arbitrage and was, you know, doing two to two to $5,000 a month in sales or something. And uh, within six months, he – at that point, he was already – he was working as a web developer for UNLV and – he was able to leave his job. He bought a new house, and uh, uh, you know he's, that's that's his whole business now. His whole business is um, is Amazon wholesale, and uh, and, and a lot of that was you know he took what we had and he introduced his own flair into it. And that's that's what we always tell people is you know the most successful business you can build is just taking a great concept and, and adding your your personal flair into it or what makes you unique. And and that was what he did is he added that to it. And then we had another lady who uh, she had a really tough, uh, really tough situation. You know, she was a single mom. Um, she was she was on assistance and uh, uh, government assistance. And she took our course and she said it was literally she had to borrow money uh, from her family to get her first to start whenever she started scouting and, and sourcing inventory. And uh, now she is. Uh, she, oh, I mean, within within a year, she was doing over thirty thousand dollars a month in sales consistently, and uh, is just now has a, a real business. I mean, her business is she has a lot, all, all of most of the majority of her accounts are exclusives or semi exclusives, and it's because she's in a niche, right? And and one of it, this is the thing that I love about it is it, 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 people get to bring their outside passion into it, and it just accentuates it. Um, with her. You know, uh, one of her big things was she had a lot of trouble getting pregnant. And she always wanted to be a mother, mm. and to the point that she did so much research on um, uh, fertility that she became a, a fertility practitioner. Mm. Like she, she she picked up her uh, certifications Becoming and, and necessary. It. Right, and you know now all the products that she sells on Amazon are related to her fertility practice, and um, you know it's 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 turned into. She said it has literally changed every part and aspect of her life, mm-hmm. and that's that's the kind of thing that's that, fulfilling, right? I mean, that's 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 exactly what we're looking for in that community and what we love to hear. Dan, first of all, thank you. This has been really informative. Love it. Um, two last questions I always ask since it's Inspired Insider. I ask sure. what's been a proud moment, and then what's been a uh, difficult time that you had to push through. Um, what's been a difficult time in the journey? Uh, you know, to be honest, it's, it's, I don't think, I don't, I, I'm one of the odd people. Like we've obviously had a whole lot of difficult times. I try not to dwell on it. I, I always try to be one of the people that look forward. Um, so I have, I, I can't talk about it from like a perspective of, of, you know, this catastrophe happened because I don't look at it in terms of catastrophes. It's, it's like, I look at it in terms of things we've learned from, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, it, one of the biggest ones that we learned from was that, and, and this was what drove us to, to really wanting relationships uh, with with our vendors. Is uh, it was I guess it was mid uh, is more towards the beginning of when we started our wholesale journey. Uh, we thought we found an amazing deal, and we literally invested every dollar we had into it hmm. and got crushed, wow. like absolutely crushed products. When we bought them, uh, by the time we received them, we're literally selling for less on Amazon than we paid. And you start factoring in fees. I mean, we were destroyed. And uh, that, that puts you to the test right there. Like, it was every dollar we had. And, uh, you know, it was one of those things where we had to come up with a creative solution. And we started working with other folks 
um, and, and and started reaching out to other people who, within that industry uh, of the products that we were carrying. And I was able to find a liquidator who, did, you know, they couldn't pay us enough cash to get us out of the jam, but we were able to trade that product for a, a dil- more diluted version because we had literally thousands and thousands of this one skew. And I was able to trade my thousands and thousands of that one skew, uh, one one bad product for, you know, 50 of this and 100 of that and 20 of this. And, and you know, that was able to dilute it enough that we were able to sell through and start recouping enough cash to get back on our feet and, and really move forward. Hmm. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, that's sometimes the, the, the learnings that, you know, really help other people when they're, well, I mean, they're the, experiencing that. And, I, you know, this is one of the things we always tell our students is, is the best lessons hurt a little bit. <laughs> and that's... You know, and it's it's unfortunate that it has to happen like that. But you know, it's 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 a lot of people uh, just don't learn from success, right? I mean, it's just they they accept success, and it just happens. But you you always get to the point whenever something hurts that you learn from it. And it's if, if nothing else, it's a survival instinct. That I don't want this pain again. I don't want to go through this again. And you start looking at all the factors that went into the, what got you there. And that's ultimately that whole process helped us so much with our research. And it helped us realize the uh, the absolute importance of building relationships because you know that doesn't happen now. And it doesn't happen because. The, the companies I work with, I, I know how, where their product's going, and I, you know, and they I, they legitimately want me to be a part of their team. So it, there's there's not the same kind of surprises that we ran into with that situation. Mm-hmm. Thanks for sharing that. What about on the flip side, Dan? A uh, proud moment from um, the business. Honestly, uh, the 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 proud moments for us have been uh, the most the the most proud moment was the first time we went to. Uh, Las Vegas, and uh, you know, with our with the TWF, uh, the the wholesale formula, and we went to a dinner, and getting to meet the people for the first time made it so real hmm. that it's like you talk to these people online, and it's different, you know, yeah. it's 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 great that you hear about their success and stuff like that, but whenever you get to literally talk to somebody and and hug them and they tell you that what you did literally changed their life, uh, and you know, I, I remember the the most vivid conversation I, I had was with a uh, with one of our uh, awesome ladies in our community uh, Cheryl Brightman and uh, Cheryl came up to uh, came up to me and was just talking about it, it, that first that first dinner we had with them in Vegas and she was talking about the struggles of her business and I, I was giving her some advice and next time I saw Cheryl like she was crying and she said it, you know she was bawling and she said that you know all, everything is everything was going well for the first time in a, in a long time for her, mm. and that you know she was she had been bordering bankruptcy, and uh, it was was doing very well. She has one account right now that generates over two hundred thousand dollars a year in profit, and her business has grown significantly from that point too. So it's it's just like seeing that change and and, and what it really means to somebody. Like you you know you read the posts and all that kind of stuff, and it just doesn't have that same. Uh, gravity that that it has of of seeing someone in person and realizing that you really did have an impact on their life. And it, it's just unbelievable feeling, and it's so emotional. Like uh, hmm. that, it was easily by far the the most satisfying moments for us are, are generally not within our own business, but within the the wholesale formula community. Totally, Dan. Where? Sh- thank you so much. Where should we point people towards? Where should they check out? Oh, we have our, you know, we have our, our website, the wholesaleformula.com, and we have a blog on there that, that helps, uh, you know, our, we, we've invested a little bit differently in our blog. Like we don't try to just shoot articles out for the sake of shooting articles out. Like all of our articles are very, very in depth and, and focused on uh, trying to get people started and trying to get people to understand the model because we truly believe in it. We truly believe that, uh, that in, in the power it has. You know the power of entrepreneurship that, that particularly has uh, to change people's lives for the better, and that's you know I, I just love being a catalyst for that as much as I can. Yeah, I want to be the first one to thank you, Dan. Everyone, check out whole the wholesale formula t h e wholesaleformula dot com. Thanks again. Absolutely, brother. Thanks. Just you find the same right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand